Hello and welcome. It is the uh, 7th day of June 2019. Welcome to the Money Charts channel. All bets, trades, and of the like. Well, that's within each's own risk and their own reward. As I was stating before, will this market hold and stay above the 18 average? Uh, it went two, 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 two red days going down. This one it was down 7.2%. This was down 54 And how is it going to react to that fact? And Well, maybe it's going to resist this and go lower. That's still a maybe right now. But within this bull market, all of these sell-offs, as I've been stating, guilty until proven innocent. And I've said this for a while, that as this was going up, breaking like 73, I think we're going to 98.14. And it looks as if that's still in play. There's going to be corrections along the way. It goes up here. We have a little bit of sideways correction here. That's it. Have a little bit here, but enough. And even now, this whole thing has been a decent correction. So very much at any time, uh, it's... It could easily go off, and it's going to take a while for it to be overextended. Four, when price action was at this green line, I'm going to shorten out the amount of candles again. When when it was May the 13th and price action was $8,066, it was well, well, well overextended, way above the 18 average of highs, in need of a correction. Well, it's down move here, little down move here, all this sideways, and then this big move. Oh, it's had that correction. Now... It's at that price. It was well above the 18 of highs. Now it's barely getting above the 18 of lows. That is barely declining. So the question still remains, is this going to be a hold and stay above the 18? A, uh, or are we going to establish support, resisting going lower? Well, right now, of course, bulls are in control of this market. And the setups that we're looking at in the 4-hour and 1-hour to me are very spectacular, especially here. Oh, this is just an amazing, amazing setup. First off, let's notice we have all of this sideways action, which ends up correcting, supporting in here. But within that, this was followed after uh, getting above the 18 average of highs in here. So three periods going sideways with this one prior actually extending the high and pulling back. This one we can see within the low comes down, uh, make Two lows not seen a little bit, but starting to exceed higher. Single hour time frame is in a situation where we can see that this prior level of uh, resistance acting here as support, third green candle hour going up as we're starting this one as a new candle, but gets up to the 18 average of highs in an uptrend and is not uh breaking down it is managing to continue higher as it leaves this 18 average so a very uh, very nice look as uh, i would see this and getting above this little area of resistance i wouldn't be surprised if we come in at least test this little previous area of uh well we've already hit this point so yeah this resistance area in here between 84 up to 86 but as it comes down to it I'm, of course, looking for this to uh, make a move above and to around the 10,000 area. Let's now move and switch this on to Litecoin. As there was a very interesting uh, buy, but before I get on, on the Litecoin Bitcoin exchange, but we'll get to that in a bit. First, I want to show you its cross against the U.S. fiat debt note. And it got past it, $63 after uh, piercing below it. And then big move, but a little past the 50% uh, in between here and here. And it's been, I mean, this happened on April, like start of April. All of April, all of May, and the first week of June. So two months and one week it's been since it's broken above this. But as we look at where we stand right now, we uh, supported in this little move in here. This level of support was this twice double layer of resistance, once from the April high and again from the mid-May high. As it came back to the 18 lows, came back to where it came from, yesterday's session comes up to the 18 highs, 
and it continues to have a very noticeable well break above it and now back at the most upper end of its congestion area from where it was before and just as i mentioned before that back like with the Bitcoin. When it was May the 27th, it was a little overextended, but it, it, obviously I would have expected there was a better chance. I should, should have went higher then, but it was well above the 18 average. So the difference here, you've had a span of about uh, a week and a half of this correctionary mode. It is not overextended. It is in the early breakout stages. That's what I know. Like anytime it leaves the 18 in a spot like that, that to me is always part of an early breakout stage for what you'd be expecting a leg higher or a higher high from this point and uh, weekly time frame get as we're getting above this level of resistance to me i think it could still have in line for some phenomenal moves we've had before in the past here we can see 116 percent was a previous week before this is back in 2017 uh, back here 44 percent moves just magnificent, magnificent ones. Now let's take a look at this against that of uh, Bitcoin. As there was an interesting uh, moment that happened in the late morning this morning. And we'll take a look at it within the, uh, well obviously with this look here. We'll start with the daily, but you're probably not going to notice it until the hourly time frame. On the daily, we got above this level of resistance. And it's been a nice, amazing break above. Price action has... Well, this uh, low here was the uh, 1501 handle, and we have managed to get up to the uh, 1498, so we have marginally pierced below this former level of previous support. On the four hour term time frame, again, breaking above this, the size of this move here. Nice 5% up, uh, one sixth of a day move. I guess there's uh, six of these in a day. And I like how since this move it is just the way it's moved up like this is. A nice bullish consolidation, but on the single hour term time frame, um, I guess you're not going to see it on here either. You know, let's just go to the one, and I'm just going to take you to, to it this way. It was this one right here. And... Let's just take a look at this a little more clearly. Price action before this was at 11, uh, well, that's the time 11, 12, 1452. It was bought up to basically 15. Not too, too much of a pan extra, but if we look at the volume up top, it says uh, 10,889. And at $100 Litecoin, that would equate to a little over a million dollars. And let's, well, Somebody bought near at or a little over a million dollars worth of Litecoin, and I sold maybe 50, 60 bucks worth. Yeah, about 50 bucks worth, because I had in sell order at 148 high, like 14895. So I, I noticed it back in here. I'm thinking, okay, obviously, uh, I'm pretty sure last night before I went to bed, I put my sell order in barely under the 150 number. So I most likely sold. I should log on to Binance. And I was thinking, yeah, I could, I mean, this is to go to trade Tron. I'm going to, what I sold here, I'm just going to buy Tron with it. That was the plan. And I'm thinking to myself, I mean, the price back at like 11.20, 11.25, I'm thinking, this is probably just going to go back up there soon as it is anyway. I probably should just buy the Litecoin now and then sell it back for a 3% move. I'm like, but well, whatever, I'll just do the trade now. And yes, it managed to, of course, uh, uh, go towards that price. I'm just going to bring it back. As you can see, it managed to go back up. Where do we support? Not where we came from here. Has a little bit of a wild move coming back. And now, just recently, it's had a short-term crash. I mean, we have many, several of these on the one minute per day as it is. Let me just... Uh, then it's not really a crash. It's only going from like 1483 to 1464 uh, that's like a differential of like 1.4 percent which is really nothing at all and uh, is there really much more to go over here probably not just take a quick look at anything in here that's yeah see bitcoin would have just went down like a small amount same here one minute oh just a small fall 
Okay. That's uh, normal stuff. When was We had a small fall here. We had a pretty big fall here. Funny thing about the one minute time frame is it can have like four or five crashes a day. And then four or five amazing rallies at different times. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else uh, really worth mentioning here. Has All the other markets seem to be just meh, not doing too much. But as we're heading into the weekend, it does seem as if I think these markets are uh, very, very live to hit some of these targets that I'm mentioning. Let's just take a quick look at Bitcoin Cash against the uh, US dollar, just because I haven't looked at it for like um, at least a week. And there's not much here to show, but uh, just continuously grindingly. I mean, when you have this spot here, uh, like this, it took to, for this move here, this 21% day, it was just that, a day. And then you can get times where you can take like a 20% move that can take in the area of like two weeks. So it's been just slowly but surely making its way up. Also like Bitcoin trying to correct within the 18 lows. It, uh, is it able to hold and stay above this area? This is maybe, we'll see. I do like how uh, this candle here, I'm going to focus on that day that happened in And then, yeah, so just a little, I mean, all, all that little bit was that I was looking at is this in here has a breakdown of this level of support, but that's all it does and how it quickly regains that. That's something that you notice a lot in the bull markets. You end up having this little decline. Things were most certainly looking bearish here because we were playing with this level of support. You were breaking down from the 18 lows, and it did break this support. Where would I be looking to go to this previous low? It kind of didn't go to the low. Rather, it pierced above it and it went more towards this congestion area. But in bull markets, this is normal oftentimes. You come to the lows, oh, you don't resist it. You come to the highs, and you do something bullish after that. In this case, something bullish was all is all of this all right thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day bye bye